Hello friends, welcome back. In today's video I'm diving into another upgrade challenge. This is number 60. As always, the box includes the artist booklet and a sheet of stickers. Inside we've got two Sharpies, one black and one pink, a professional Bristol sketch pad, super white, smooth, 300 GSM paper. Wrapped in tissue paper, they also included some Liquitex acrylic markers, a double-ended Sakura Identity pen and an HB pencil. I was really excited to try out these markers because I've seen a creator that I follow use them to make some amazing stuff. Their name is Sadik Wool, so I couldn't wait to test them out. First, I did some swatches to see how everything worked on the paper. I've got to say, I've really taken a liking to the pencil. I've been using it ever since it arrived. It just feels so good in my hand and the lead's perfect for my drawing style. I've used Sharpies and Identity Pens before and they are great. Though I didn't notice when I tried them in my sketchbook that the Sharpie bled through the page. On the other hand, the acrylic markers are super satisfying to use and the colors are so vibrant. You activate them by pressing the tip down on the paper. And the chisel tip allows for different kinds of strokes. The first thing I tried drawing was an eye inspired by recent anime like A Sign of Affection, where they use multiple colors on the iris, which I love. I was pleasantly surprised by how opaque even the light colors like yellow were, and I couldn't wait to use them in a finished piece. Given the color range, I thought I'd try drawing a sunset scene and I found a beautiful reference photo of a sunset sky with clouds that matched the colors I had. But when I started working on a larger area, I noticed that the blue marker was super streaky and it was almost impossible to get an even layer. Then I tried incorporating the Sharpie to add another color to the composition, but the smell was so strong, like gasoline. I totally forgot how bad Sharpie smell. <laughs> At some point I decided to give up on the drawing. I think the moment came when I added the red and, and realized I was never going to get close to my reference. So I switched gears and went for something more graphic. I found a photo of some stacked cups and decided to draw that instead. This second drawing went way better than the first and I'm much happier with the final result. I tried using everything in the box, using the Sharpies and Identity Pen for the line art and given the limited color selection, I added some definition with a bit of cross-hatching for the shadows. I have to say though, these markers work way better on smaller areas because even here, when coloring the background, the purple marker started streaking. I'm not sure if it's this type of marker or acrylic markers in general. But that's what 
I experienced. In the end, though, I'm really pleased with how it turned out, which is great considering how it started. Like I mentioned earlier, I also tried these supplies in my sketchbook, and the acrylic markers didn't bleed through the page, so I think they'll definitely become part of my sketchbook drawing from now on. Alright, friends, that's all for this video. If you enjoyed, give it a like and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you next week with another video. Bye!